Hello everyone. Today is International Noise Awareness Day. This day is observed to raise awareness about the ill effects of noise on health and quality of life. As ENT specialists, this is our association's humble effort to make the right noise about hazards of noise. Hi friends, Shan here. Do you know India has some of the most noisiest cities in the world? Living in a noisy environment destroys their hearing cells faster and so many people in their 50s start developing hearing loss. Your hearing is precious. Once gone, it can never come back. So stay safe, take care of your hearing. Silence is golden, but not the kind of silence that one has to face when one loses hearing. One realizes the importance of one's hearing only when it starts to disappear or go away. I mean, it's common knowledge that loud noises can damage the ear. But knowledge is one thing and wisdom quite another. Knowledge is knowing that noise can produce deafness and wisdom lies in not letting this happen. Noise pollution has emerged as the new health crisis of the world compared by the World Health Organization and others to secondhand smoke in its effects. There are many sources of noise pollution in Mumbai and in India, which is the noisiest country in the world. And Mumbai is situated in India as the noisiest city in the world. They include traffic as a major source, firecrackers, loudspeakers from festivals and private functions, and of course, construction, which has continued even during COVID. In silent zones, no loudspeakers can be used that between 10 p.m. and 6 a.m. no noise sources can be permitted and that religion is not a ground to violate noise rules. Noise pollution can lead to tinnitus and hearing loss. It also affects physical and mental well-being. Loud noise can trigger anxiety, stress, headache, insomnia and even rise in blood pressure. As far as children are concerned, they face difficulty in learning, memorizing, and even paying attention. Hi, this is Madhavan. We all love to talk and to listen. But what if you wake up one morning and you realize that you cannot hear? You cannot hear your loved ones, to the music you love, or anything as a matter of fact. I know it's a frightening thought, but the truth of the matter is, one in three elders suffer from significant hearing loss. And if you want to protect your ears, take care of it and avoid this or delay this, then please reduce your ambient noise. Please be safe and reduce noise. Complete eradication of noise is almost impossible. But what we can do is to reduce our exposure to this unwanted and harmful noise. Very simple measures like reducing the volume of TV sets and music sets, while on the roads, avoid unnecessary honking or even planting trees which act as a sound buffer will help in the long run. One must also remember to get the hearing checked regularly. Hi everyone, I'm Keithi Kulhari. When noise is limited, it not only reduces the negative effects associated with it, but it also adds the richness of quiet to our lives. It's very aptly said, protect your hearing, protect your health. I support this AOI Mumbai Noise Awareness Program. I hope you do too. Take care and stay safe. Dear friends, say no to noise and yes to quiet. On behalf of AOI Mumbai, I request each and every member to maintain one minute of silence on Wednesday, the 28th April from 2.15pm to 2.16pm. Thank you.